This is the setup for a game of tabletop football. Tabletop, in, a game of tabletop football. You need a paper, you need a paper triangle, like so. But the paper triangle can be made quite easily. Not much is going to happen for the next several seconds. Follow back soon. I need to make a tabletop football with a piece of paper and some tape. Preferably some of the narrower variations of scotch tape. Those always seem to work the best for me. Or you could use a stapler, but that's not usually readily available in a situation like this. Now what you do is you set out the piece of as you set the piece of paper down like this, fold it in half like so, and then again like this. This is going to be a pretty horrible tabletop football, but like that. And you fold it into triangles like this. They're not supposed to look like this. The end product is supposed to look a little better than this. This is how you play tabletop football. You start out with the paper triangle set out like this, right down here, and then you flick it across four times. And if you haven't made it across by then, you're pretty well screwed. That was one, two, three, four. It's off. Now, just bang my quadricep against the sofa. I set up the field goal at the other end. begin from this side. One. This guy's off to a much better start than I am. I'm pretending I'm actually playing a real game. Take a field goal off so I can, so you can flip. Flick. Whatever. Two. Three. Four. Four. That was a touchdown. So, we set this up once again. This one comes as the uprights, but normally you would use this for the these for the uprights. So you set this up. You put this down like this, 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 or pretty much any other way you want, as long as it's not like this, because this seriously works horribly. I always like this way, because then you can do something like so, right in the middle. Another thing you can do is if you get up to a horrible start like I did, one, oh, that's horrible. Two, three. You can call a field goal. If you're good at field goals, this is a good thing for you. However, if you're not, this can be your undoing. I am not usually very good at field goals. Watch what usually happens to me. You do not want that to happen to you. So you should so you should so you better hope that you're better at field goals than I am. There's no time limit for a game of tabletop football. You only go until somebody has scored twenty one. And when somebody scores twenty one, they've had three straight touchdowns, because once you have a touchdown and a straight Let's say this isn't realistic, but let's say that he got this in one. So he does two, three, four. Here's a touchdown. It's a touchdown because when you move your finger up the side of the table like this, it hits it. So then I'm just set it up here for drums. No, that wouldn't be. Okay, so I'll just put this down, set it down right here. No. I'll move the chair, how about that? Um, yeah, that looks good. So then once you have a feel a touchdown, which is for six points, you set up your field goal, usually like this, but I'm just using this because I feel like it. 
you then set up, I like to do this, and if looking through that's an extra point. I just did. If you don't, that's not an extra point. Either way, either way you get over five points. If you get it through, it's seven points. If you get it under or wide, then it's six. So do the math. Seven times three equals twenty-one. You get it. touchdown field goal, touchdown field goal, touchdown field goal, you win. But then another rule is if if you've all been if you've both been scoring touchdowns and field goals, so you both end up with fourteen and then you hit another one and you and you win the game, then the other person has to do it again. Because then you never know if they would have scored again.